Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And uh, today I'm going to share a letter um, that I did for a lady a few days ago. And um, she had, it's from the frog spirit. She had had a frog that was sat in her light fixture um, for a couple, for, for a few weeks. And so she asked for a message from the frog. And uh, it was kind of perfect because as with everything synchronistic, there had been lots and lots of frogs uh, around and there had been also um, a program on TV and it had Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy for a, reu for a, for a reunion. And uh, that was just before I got asked to do this letter. So I knew the frog spirit was around. So as with everything, you know, the universe delivers the messages in the perfect way. And just when you need a little bit of humor and a little bit of lightheartedness, then the frog sat in an actual light fixture it was just brilliant. So this is the message of the frog. So that you will get your prince. Hold on to the fairy tale. Hold on to the love that you feel in your heart. Hold on to the beautiful memories that uplift your soul and take you to another place. Take you to, to a place where love knows no time, where love knows no barriers, where love thrives on passion, on wonder and on cherished moments. Keep the dream alive because your frog will, will turn into your prince. It is meant to be this way. It is meant to be heartfelt because you will have your romance. You will have your nights of passion. You will walk this earth hand in hand together celebrating your love you will so a beautiful message just as i said i shared in my q i shared my qhht session that i did in yesterday or the day before's video and one of the other things i've listened to it a few more times and each time i get a bit more info that comes through um but this is like for those that don't know qhht is deep hypnosis deep healing through um hypnosis where they take you through a couple of past lives into your subconscious and one of the things that they said was that we are all magnets we are all being magnetized and actually what happens is they interestingly and very significantly they said um when i recently um had to cut my twin off they said we ha we repel them we repel them so that they go away and get stronger so and it was really it was just so significant that they said we repel them we repel them they're like magnets so they have to go away get stronger get more light and then come back together then we repel them again they go away get more light come back together we repel them they go away so it's just a brilliant thing and just so that again like if you're going through a difficult time if you've had to cut off your twin or something's happened um then just remember that is that is happening for a reason because they were like oh yeah we we had to do that we had to repel it so because they're magnets and now people are getting uh everyone's a magnet and so we have to repel to grow the strength of the light <clears throat> so if that is happening for you then just know that it's for you to go off do your own thing grow your own light focus on you and like with the, you know it's always focusing on you that's the thing but <clears throat> you know sometimes we just get to these points that you just think oh seriously <laughs> just like just seriously uh but then of course all the messages come and you get bombarded by signs songs everything and then you're like okay 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 i get it so um that's the message they were like we repel you and then we bring you and then you then we bring you we repel you to make you grow stronger then we bring you back that's the other thing they said we bring them back so uh we are mere kind of like pawns in this game of like strategic chess to uplift the planet. So remember that it's all in your energy. It's all in your light. It's all about how you strategically manage your life, manage these energies, trusting that, you know, this is an energetic game that we're all in. And so, you know, really trust that because that is definitely what comes through uh, from the session. So, um, right. 
So I'm going to say it one more time. Frog message. What message do you want to give? That you will get your prince. Hold on to the fairy tale. Hold on to the love that you feel in your heart. Hold on to the beautiful memories that uplift your soul and take you to another place. Take you to a place where love knows no time, where love knows no barriers, where love thrives on passion, on wonder and on cherished moments. Keep the dream alive because your frog will turn into your prince. It is meant to be this way. It is meant to be heartfelt because you will have your romance. You will have your nights of passion. You will walk this earth hand in hand together, celebrating your love. You will. Right, so just kind of beautiful. So I'm also going to read 56 and also 75 from my Divine Love Letter book. So these are all books that are compiled from the channelings that I've done for people. So 56 is this, that you are my princess princess of passion oh my god that is just brilliant so the frog is saying you're my i'm you're going to be your prince and then this letter is you're my princess of passion oh dear that i want to romance to wine and dine and spin you around so we're both dizzy with desire and love i want to do everything with you fulfill our life dreams things that we didn't even think were possible but together we can do them like a match to a flame, we ignite the fire in each other, the flames of passion, which give us the energy, the inclination and the drive to achieve anything we want for our lives. It's about dreaming big, believing that anything is possible and knowing that life is really all about love, that love is the magic ingredient to everything. Love is what makes things real. You make things real. You bring me life and possibilities and passion. Oh my God, that is just, you know, and that's what I mean when the synchronicity, synchronicities come and the messages come and it's just so crazy, then you're just like, okay, yeah, 75 is that I'm really sorry. Actually, I'm beyond sorry that it's taking me such a long time to get my shit together and declare my true romantic feelings for you. Life has been tough and it's made me not trust myself, not trust that I can make things be good in my life. And so I couldn't trust that I wouldn't mess yours up too. Aw, that's why I've stayed away for so long. I'm still battling with my own inner demons. And I don't want you to see me like that. You deserve more. You deserve me to be me. The me that isn't riddled with fears and doubts. I'm getting there and I will get there. But sometimes I slip backwards again. All I can say is that I'm really sorry. I want to be the man you fell in love with all those years ago. I want to finish off what we started. I want you to be our final chapter together. I love you, my darling. Trust me. I'm trying to make my way home to you. Oh, that's just all the feels that letter. I'm like, oh, stay strong in your light because you remember you feed off each other. So 56, we want you to love yourself. We want you to find your own light. You are a beautiful divine being who is here to shine your light to be a pillar of love and light, to shine your rainbow across the world, like rays of gold stardust showering down and turning everything to gold. We want you to know how much you are loved, how much support you have all around you. Don't feel alone for you are not. Focus on your heart. Ask us to help you. Read this over and over and keep it close to your heart. We want to help you. You are loved. Okay, so we want to help you. So stay true to your heart. 75, I love you. I want you. I need you. I am so besotted with you. Be still my beating heart, for you are the only angel that floats my boat, stills my inner waters, and awakens all of my emotions. You have brought me into a new being of who I am and what I'm here to do. No more aimlessly floating through life with no clue about what I'm doing. Now I have a purpose. I know why my heart beats and what makes it tick. It ticks for you. And the tick-tock of our clock is waiting to chime. Our chime can be heard across the universe. Focus on the beat of your heart and you'll find me. The chime. That's really interesting. Yesterday, um, you might know her, Shamama a Hunting Owl has also got a um, channel, Shamama Hunting Owl. And um, she posted on her Instagram one of the letters from the books 
and it was about the bell ringing in my heart, the chime of the church bell. So it is the chime of the the universe, you know, chiming the bell to say, don't forget, you know, what we're here, don't forget that this is all about the light and uh, it's all about the mission and remember that because it's so easy to get lost in the 3D workings of life and we're here to rise above. So my love, the light of my heart, the angel that breathes life into my wings. I've been in my own shadow with my wings clipped for such a long time and frankly it's getting boring. I want to spread my wings, find my freedom and I want to fly home to you. I am like a homing pigeon and my instinct is leading me back home to you. It's been a long time that I've lost my way and it's not been much fun for either of us, I'm sure. Now it's time to put things right, to spread my wings and fly and be who I'm supposed to be. Oh, wow. So um, what also came out in the session, if you haven't listened to the to the um, video that I did a couple of days ago about the QHHT session, have a listen to that because I talk about what they say, what comes through from my subconscious, from the subconscious around the twin flame journey. And uh, one of the things that came through was like, um, there's a lot of stuff, of course, out on YouTube and different channels around twin flames. Um, and then the, you have to discern for yourself what's true because a lot of people's learnings are um, learning around the material world. And so a lot of people are sort of, Obviously, it's a lucrative business, right? Cashing in on the commercial aspect. Um, but there are genuine people out there as well. So Shamama Hunting Owl is very, she is definitely the same part of this group. Um, so check her out if you haven't, because uh, she is definitely part of this kind of like, you know, we are split into groups and you will feel affiliated and sort of like more aligned to certain people. So if you are if you feel like a good vibe for me, then check out her as well. Shamama Hunting Owl is her name on YouTube. Right, I'm gonna finish by letter 75. And so that's the other thing. Uh, that's what came through. It was like uh, lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff, but there are people that are true to the cause. And uh, when you listen to somebody, you'll know because you'll feel feel the right vibration for you. Um, and so. Um, it will be different for every single person, right? But uh, just always go with what feels right for you. That's the most important thing. So letter 75 is search for me here, search for me there, search for me everywhere. But you don't need to search anymore because I am here in your heart, right in your heart. All the answers that you are seeking, all the questions that you want to ask, I already am. I already beat within your heart. You hear me. When you focus on your heartbeat, that is the sound of my drum, of our united drum. We are banging the tune of our reunion band. So jump on the bandwagon and follow our tune. Okay, well, gorgeous message. So I'm going to finish by reading the frog letter one more time because it's so perfect. And it is that you will get your prince. Hold on to the fairy tale. Hold on to the love that you feel in your heart. Hold on to the beautiful memories that uplift your soul and take you to another place. Take you to a place where love knows no time, where love knows no barriers, where love thrives on passion, on wonder and on cherished moments. Keep the dream alive because your frog will turn into your prince. It is meant to be this way. It is meant to be heartfelt because you will have your romance. You will have your nights of passion. You will walk this earth hand in hand together, celebrating your love. You will. And just remember, that's so brilliant. Because, um, <laughs> because of course, the frog, the reason why the lady asked for the frog message is because the frog had been literally sat in her light fixture. So a message from the light. All right, well, I hope that helps. And uh, check out the, the QHHT video that I did a couple of days ago because it talks about uh, what the subconscious was saying or that, you know, basically, yeah, the universe was saying about um, the, the twin flame journey. All right, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.